Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Planet Skyline created by Tri40. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, this was sent in by one of our Discord expert builders, Tri40, and he says, Hi, Johnny, this is my first real park I have finished. It is a mini park, but main focus was on the small details. I don't know how long I worked on this park, but I'm sure it was worth it. I also used some blueprints from the workshop and put a sign on them with the creator. Since I joined the community, I've really come a long way, and I bet a lot of others did too. So thank you very much, and keep up the great work Johnny. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, let's just dive right on into this, guys. All right, everybody. Uh, as mentioned, it is a bit of a mini park. Um, so we're going to try doing the Tejid cam here. Looks like that boat is floating. Oh, weird. Look at that. That's interesting. Um, yeah, we can do Tejid cam today. Check out all the details up close. Um, I love these old town buildings that you guys have been coming up for, with. I think Tri40 did a couple. Um, I think Woody did some. Wix did some. Fricker did some. You guys all seem to have um, a little theme going here with these old town buildings. I think uh, Synchros also did some as well. Oh, look at this. Got a little, what is this? A fire truck? A food truck? Something in there. Street Fox Coffee Shop. Awesome. Beautiful buildings. Uh, we, I'll take a look at the overall island. Uh, you guys probably saw a little bit of it in the cinematic shots. But we'll look at the overall island from a distance at the end. Because I do think the shape of the island and the pathwork and gardening around it is really nice. As you guys can see from the first person view here, it is quite detailed. Information. I see some boats back there. I believe Fricker did those, if my memory serves me correct. And it was in his 1% um, luxury park. Very nice. Yeah, well, we definitely have to start a collection of um, these buildings because I've seen so many of them. Um, you could basically, if we made a collection and hit subscribe to all, you could build an entire, like, gas town, old town area of a park. Woodstone. Very nice gate here. Not too many attractions in this park. From what I saw, we have one big coaster to ride, which is this guy here. Uh, we have a go-kart track. And then a few flat rides, I believe. I, thought, I think I saw a log form. What's over here? More shops? Alright. Looks like we kind of hit a dead end here. We'll have to loop back around. Let's see what's on the other side of the park here. So there's a look at the go-kart track. Zooming by. Very fun. I will give those guys a manual race today. It's not the biggest park spotlight. Trash bags. <laughs> Ice cream. Um, not the biggest park spotlight, but it's definitely a coaster slash ride spotlight in terms of uh, content. That looks awesome. What's it called? The Rush? <laughs> and we're back to the beginning here. So let's pop out and take a look at the overarching island here. See, if you were to do a park end to end to end, <laughs> you guys could see how big it would have been. But I honestly don't mind checking out parks that are this small. Um, maybe a little bit bigger would be nice with a few more coasters. But I do like the fact that we're getting a beautiful FPS. We can have you know a thousand people in this park or as many as it needs to seem busy um, and our experience is going to be top quality so if you guys are thinking about doing parks like this in the future uh, I definitely would feature them 
and I think just a little bit bigger, maybe twice the size, even three times the size is good. Once you're going end to end to end, we either got to go in pause mode or we got to kick the guests out. Uh, FPS is low on the coasters. There's just, you know, it's not quite as enjoyable. So I definitely think start small like this, guys, and then like kind of expand. See how far you could take things on your computer, maybe twice the size, three times the size, and try to find that limit. And by then, you, you start seeing things like uh, Mads creations that we saw from uh, Coaster Island or Pixel West. Uh, we see that kind of stuff. And they seem to find the sweet spot where you can have guests in the park, but still have a dozen coasters and um, a quite a luscious park. Now, Overall, looking at this design of the island, it's very nice. I love the shape of it, the pathways down here. A little bit of a man-made island extension to this area. And I quite like it. A couple boats. Looks really nice. So, uh, we got two rides here. We'll do the coaster after. We'll start off with the go-karts. Let's speed this up so they finish their lap. And we will, um, we will name this Bolard so that we can give these a race for ourselves. <laughs> The guests are getting off. We're going to um, put ourselves in the last seat and see if we can catch up and win. All right, here we go, guys. We've got the uh, Knight Rider cars. Off we go. I am in control. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Three more people to pass here. Sometimes the guy in first just takes off. You can never catch up to them. Oh, he's cutting me off. All right, we got to step on it. We got a speed boost. Picked up a mushroom. Little bugger. No, no, no! Racing these things can be tricky at times because I totally felt like I was in control and it wasn't going to speed out. Oh, it's over. It's a one-lapper. Darn it. Well, we're not winning today. That's quite all right. Um, my suggestion with these go-karts is uh, if you have a big straightaway like that, or even just one subtle turn into a big straight, it does give you the opportunity to pass by a lot of uh, racers right off the bat. Um, if you do straightaways, I definitely recommend pinching it. And changing the because you can make the you can adjust the size of the track um, so there's a couple ways to do it but pinching it off the straightaway going into a turn and making it so you have to pass people on the inside or the outside so I definitely recommend widening the track on the turns but pinching it on the straightaways and if you do have straightaways using those kind of zigzaggy things is quite nice um, and then for overall go-kart design I much prefer if it um, has a little bit more elevation and interweaves like goes over top of itself like a bridge or something like that just so it passes by and has a couple layers to it I think that's pretty cool um, this area was really nice how the guests are actually passing over top so we do have a little bit of elevation there and then it does come up through here where we can kind of see through here and see the go-karts passing along so I like that I just wish it was a little bit more interwoven um, and a longer circuit but not too bad pretty good overall so I think we okay I thought I saw a log flume but it's actually just a, a boat slide I guess and then the people kind of chill out <laughs> the on the lake here it's cool I really miss the boat rides from RCT those were quite fun that looks really nice this little area okay so we have a coaster here uh, what do we have? The American Arrow Corkscrew, 7.1 Excitement, 5.1 Fear, and 1.5 Nausea. Let's give this a go.
right, pretty nice corkscrew. I would have liked to see a few more inversions and twists in there, um, but not too bad. I do love the neutral colors on this and the custom supports and the fencing all around it. Overall, it has a very beautiful and stunning presentation. So really good job there. Overall, I really like this park and I love this design of the old town on the on the kind of like the lakeside. It looks really good. I'd love to see some more of this in a, in a bigger scale. It doesn't have to be too much bigger like I mentioned earlier, but uh, it looks really good and I'd definitely like to see more of this old town style. Oh, look at this. Gotta ride stuff back here <laughs> in the alleyway. Lovely, lovely stuff. So there you go, guys. That was uh, Planet Skyline created by Tri40. Links are down in the description below if you guys want to check it out for yourself. And that's going to do it for this episode of Park Spotlight. If you guys enjoy, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily Planet Coaster videos. And if you'd like to support the show to keep it going, you could do so by becoming a patron. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.